Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to put all of these essential backpacking items into this 25 liter backpack. So let's get into it. First, you got your Trail 25 from REI. You can either grab it in person at a store or online for only like $80. Make sure to pick up some storage cubes to keep your things organized while you travel. Then grab a couple of merino wool shirts from Amazon. One, you know, fairly nice button down that you can wear at like an opera performance or a nightclub. A pair of jeans or two. A merino wool half zip to stay cool in the summer and warm in the winter. A fleece jacket if you know it's going to be really cold. Five pairs of underwear and five pairs of socks. One tank top. Baseball cap. Functions, you know, as a baseball cap. It also has a little sleeping mask three pairs of shorts black or blue your choice <laughs> foldable poncho always comes in handy laundry bag for dirty clothes moving on to technology now some people like to do that digital nomad life i'm definitely like that so i like bringing my laptop and this charger i can't show you the laptop because i'm recording on it but i would suggest bringing something like a macbook air that's what i'm using right now and it's super light I got my GoPro in its case if I'm doing some underwater shooting. I got my phone, obviously, always in my pocket. I got my Apple Watch, usually on my wrist, and their chargers. Grab one or two universal adapters. Mine's got like four USB ports, so it's super useful. It accepts almost any type of plug, and also, you know, you can use any type of plug as well. I also have a portable charger. It's come in handy so many times. I love it because it's self-contained for the charging as well as it's got cords so it can power all your uh, devices without any other cords. Moving on to hygiene, I suggest bringing a thin toiletry bag to keep things organized in your backpack. Obviously, don't forget your contacts or your glasses if you wear them. I've done it before and it sucks. Do not forget about deodorant. Trust me. I always bring my battery powered toothbrush, easier than a rechargeable one. Some things I don't have with me right now, small toothpaste that you can take through security, some sunscreen and moisturizer, super helpful. I got a small electric trimmer. This one's nice because you can take off the head and replace it if you need to. If you got any liquids like body wash, shampoo, or aftershave, I would suggest bringing flattened um, TSA regulated uh, liquid containers uh, I think these are up to 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters so perfectly good to go through security obviously don't forget about a portable towel this thing has come in handy so many times either at the beach or after taking a shower at a hostel I also like to bring band-aids neosporin and some ibuprofen as well as an emergency medical kit just in case if you go on a hike or something now if you want to catch Z's wherever you are I would highly suggest investing in a nice eye mask, a pillow blanket combo, and you know some melatonin. Super helpful on long flights, train rides, or honestly, if you just need to catch some Z's due to jet lag. I would definitely get a foldable water bottle rather than a rigid water bottle. A notebook and a pencil or a pen are always nice to have on hand. A foldable day pack is a must, so you don't have to carry your backpack around all day, especially if you're staying at a hotel or a hostel for a long time. Reusable bamboo utensils, being eco-sensitive and super helpful when you don't really trust the utensils that the restaurant gives you. And last, but definitely not least, please bring your passport and your boarding documents. Do not lose them. I like keeping mine in an RFID case, which you can see here. Um, to protect it from any scam artists trying to steal my information. So now, let's pack all this stuff into that backpack. First, I separate and open up all the storage cubes. To reduce space and minimize wrinkles, make sure to roll your clothes. This one cube has all my clothes in it, except my jacket, jeans, underpants, and socks. This cube has five socks, five underpants, and a belt in it was able to fit both of them in sideways, so leaving us plenty of space. The jacket and the jeans, gonna go next. 
Man, I'm already kind of running out of space here. I might have messed this up. Guess you just gotta keep trying now. <laughs> Next, we're gonna try and add this laundry bag. Pretty flat, should work. My pillow and this filled hygiene bag. All right, let's try adding this day pack. We kind of put it right here. And this towel, which dropped. <laughs> All right, oh, pretty close. All right, let's see what else we can add. GoPro case. Finally, for the main compartment, let's add this poncho. Now let's close it. Come on. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Wow. See? Nice and firm. Yeah, not lying. <laughs> now let's move on to all the extras. Let's fold our foldable water bottle and slide it into this little mesh pocket right in front. Nice and snug there at the bottom. Now we're going to put our utensils, our deodorant, and all our extra stuff like our chargers into this front pocket right here. It's got plenty of space. You can see all the stuff up here. It's packed to the brim, but it's nice because it's very easy to use. You just open the zipper, grab what you need. That's why I like keeping my chargers, my portable charger, and my utensils up here. We'll put our emergency medicine kit right here in the pocket on the side. Let me just slide it in, I'll show you. You can see there's not only one, but two pockets. I like keeping mine in the second pocket so it doesn't slide out while I'm traveling. Finally, using these pockets on the hip belt, we got one open mesh one, one closed one. We're gonna put our Neosporin, our Band-Aids, and stuff in here. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I also like keeping an extra contacts case just in case. You never know when you'll need it. Almost forgot. If you don't like keeping your cap on your head all the time, that's okay. There's clips you can see right here on the side that you can just merely put the strap through. Clip it on. Super easy. Carry it with you wherever you need to go. Unclip it when you need. Put it back on. And that's it. All that stuff has fit into this not so tiny backpack anymore, huh? Yeah, super rugged, super durable. I've carried with this, I've carried this with me uh, up to like 18 countries at this point. So highly suggest it. If you have any comments, please put them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, you can find my travel blog at findingnewshores.com. It's also in the description box. Otherwise, like and subscribe, share with your friends. Thanks.